good morning let us today study the magnetic properties of matter coming to the magnetic properties we study a few concepts or related to magnetism number one is magnetic field magnetic field is defined as the space space around the magnet where i am writing the diagram corresponding to it and this is the space around the magnet and this is my magnet and there is a space around the magnet where any other magnetic material will experience a force any magnetic material if it enters into this region will experience a force and that region around the magnet is called is called the magnetic field so coming to the magnetic field intensity magnetic field intensity is defined as the strength of the magnetic field at any point in this magnetic field if a unit north pole experiences a force at that point strength of magnetic field otherwise known as intensity at any point in this region is the force experienced by the unit north pole at that particular point now the magnetic pole strength magnetic pole strength is said to be equal to 1 unit if we consider if we consider two magnets two magnets of same strength and considering two magnets of same strength if it experiences a repulsive force of 1 newton the force between them is 1 newton two like two like poles let us take both north pole north pole north poles facing each other and let the distance between these two poles is equal to 1 meter and if the uh, right then if the force experienced is equal to 1 newton then we say that then we say that the magnetic pole strength is said to be 1 unit p is equal to 1 unit magnetic pole strength is said to be equal to 1 unit if if two like poles of a magnet two like poles of two like poles of similar magnets or or identical magnets separated by distance of 1 meter in air or vacuum if it experiences a force of 1 newton then the pole strength will be equal to 1 unit the pole strength is measured in newton per tesla right newton per tesla is the unit used to measure the pole strength now coming to magnetic dipole moment magnetic dipole moment represented by mu m is the amount of couple acting on a magnet when it is placed with its axis at right angles to uniform magnetic field right we have a uniform magnetic field this is my magnetic field magnetic field and if this magnet if a magnet is kept parallel to this magnetic field magnet is placed with its axis at right angles to the magnetic field not like this the other way right and keeping the magnet in this fashion in the magnetic field and this is my magnet and the magnet is kept at right angles to the magnetic field then then the moment of couple acting on such a magnet kept at right angles to uniform magnetic field is called magnetic moment represented by the symbol mu m and that magnetic moment is given by the expression mu m is equal to p into 2l where p is called the magnetic pole strength that we have studied in the previous slide and the 2l is the distance between these two poles this is the north pole this is the south pole the distance between these two poles is taken as equal to 2l is equal to 2l right 
Now coming to the magnetic induction B. Magnetic induction represented by B. It is defined as the total number of magnetic lines of force passing through a unit area held perpendicular to the lines of force. The lines of force are coming like this. So these are the magnetic lines of force. Magnetic lines of force we have considered a area which is a unit area and this unit area being perpendicular to perpendicular to this lines of force unit area being taken perpendicular to the lines of force the, the number of such lines of force passing perpendicular to a unit area is called magnetic induction B or otherwise known as magnetic flux density and mathematically it is represented as B is equal to phi by A phi represents the magnetic number of magnetic lines of force and A represents the unit area which is held perpendicular to this lines of force and so the unit used to measure the magnetic induction is either Tesla or Weber per meter square Weber per meter square so these are the two units used to measure the magnetic induction B now coming to the more concepts of magnetic parameters we are now studying magnetization magnetization if you consider a magnetic material that magnetic material is made up of number of atoms or molecules and these atoms or molecules will be randomly distributed as shown in figure 1 and this is the figure that represents that represents number of atoms or molecules in the absence of external magnetic field each atom each atom is considered as a magnetic dipole each atom is considered as a magnetic dipole having positive charge and negative charge they are separated by a certain distance one charge acts as north pole and the other charge acts as south pole the opposite charge acts as south pole and therefore each atom or molecule of a magnetic material will act as a dipole in the absence of external magnetic field they will be randomly distributed they will be randomly oriented otherwise because of this random orientation because of the random orientation in the absence of magnetic field the net dipole moment of such a substance will be equal to zero of such a substance will be always equal to zero and if such a substance is subjected to an external magnetic field if, if such a substance is subjected to an external magnetic field the molecules or atoms of the substance will align themselves in the direction of the field if the field is, if the external field is, if, or if the applied field is weak, the alignment is nearly parallel as shown in the second diagram. If the external applied field is very strong, all the atoms will be aligned themselves in the direction of the field. This is the direction of the field. All the atoms will be aligned. This is the direction of the field. Right? Now, the substance is said to acquire a net dipole moment the, the net dipole moment is not equal to zero in this case because all the atoms or molecules are oriented in a particular fashion because of which there is net dipole moment which is not equal to zero as in the case of random distribution in the absence of external magnetic field now now the, the magnet the magnetic material is said to be magnetized in the presence of magnetic in the presence of a strong magnet or in the presence of strong external magnetic field the atoms or molecules are oriented in the direction of the magnetic field and the process is said to be magnetization the process is called magnetization and the specimen is said to be magnetized the specimen is said to be magnetized now the dipole moment of such a magnetized substance is 
is capital M is equal to and that capital M is called the intensity of magnetization and intensity of magnetization is the magnetic moment developed in the substance per unit volume of the externally applied magnetic field magnetization is is the magnetic moment established or induced in the in the substance when it is subjected to an, an external magnetic field per unit volume but mu m is also equal to i into a but v volume is equal to a into l a is the area and l is the length and therefore a a gets cancelled therefore magnetic moment i is m is equal to i by l it is the current per unit length so the unit is ampere per meter ampere per meter h not is the initial magnetic field that is zero h1 is greater than h not in the sense greater than zero h2 is further greater than h1 in the sense the external magnetic field is increased now coming to the magnetic permeability magnetic permeability is defined as the ratio of number of lines of force passing per unit area kept perpendicular to the lines of force in the to the lines of force in the specimen to the same lines of force in the absence of the specimen it is the ratio of number of let us consider a unit area held perpendicular to the lines of force it is the ratio of number of lines of force passing through the specimen to the number of lines of force passing in the absence of specimen right or or otherwise it is defined as the ratio of magnetic induction to the strength of the magnetic field v is magnetic induction and h is mag strength of magnetic field the ratio of these two is called magnetic permeability in free space v becomes b not and that will be equal to mu not into h where mu not is called permeability of a free space and whose value is 4 pi to 10 to the minus 7 henry per meter also we have the magnetic permeability of a given medium is mu And that will be equal to mu naught into mu r. Therefore, mu r will be equal to mu by mu naught. Where mu r is called the relative permeability. For for free space, it is mu naught. For any other medium, for for medium other than free space, we take it as mu r, the relative permeability. For free space. mu r is equal to 1 for sp free space mu r is equal to 1 and finally the last magnetic parameter that we are studying now is the magnetic susceptibility it is defined as the ratio of magnetization to the strength of the magnetic field the ratio of magnetization to the strength of the magnetizing field is called magnetic susceptibility or otherwise it is defined as the easiness with which a magnetic material can be magnetized thank you